Hello everyone, welcome to another video on CompTIA A plus core 2 series. This is uh, video 7 in this series. So let's get started with the questions. Question number 1 in today video is that a Linux command line command that enables searching files for line containing a match to a given text pattern is known as the options are rm chmod find and grab and the correct answer is grab so the grab is used to match a particular section or particular text in a Linux command output question number two is that what is the name of a Linux command line utility used for displaying a snapshot of running processes and the options are PS task list NBT stat and ID and the correct option is PS so the PS command displays the running processes on the operating system on the Linux operating system. <clears throat> Question number three is that which of the following commands in Linux can be used to display help information related to a specific command line or command slash utility and the option are command name followed by help man or manual followed by command command name command name followed by info help followed by command name and command name slash question mark and the correct answer is man man followed by the command name so the man stand for manual for example if you write man followed by ps the command which we studied in the last question this will display the uh, help and the manual instruction about this command Question number four is that which Linux command line utility provides a functionality similar to Windows Taskbar Manager? And the options are task list, IO state, top, get process. And the correct option is top. Question number five is which of the Linux utilities listed below can be used to display real time system resources utilization statistics? And again, the options are task manager, top, NBT state, and task list. And the correct option is top. So it both uh, displays the resource utilization as well as the uh, uh, running processes or running tasks. Question number six is that a Linux command line utility used to search for files and directories is called and the options are find, path, search and grab and the correct option is find. Question number seven is which of the following answers refers to a Linux network administrator command line utility used for DNS queries and the options are ping trace rt dig and path ping and the correct option is dig question number eight is that a linux command that allows to create view and can catenate files is known as and the options are echo concat printf and cat and the correct answer is cat Question number nine is which of the answers listed below refers to a Linux command line text editor and the options are nano, gvim, notepad and gedit and the correct option is nano. So the gedit and notepad they are also text, edit, uh, text editor but they are graphical uh, uh, GUI based uh, text editor while the nano is command line text editor. Question number 10 is which of the following Linux utilities can be used for creating backups and the options are DD, CPIO, or sync, tar, dump or all of the above and the correct option is all of the above. Question number 11 is 
what are the characteristic features of SMB SIFs and we have to select all that apply uh, all the correct options and the options are used mainly by computers running Linux distributions option 2 is provides share access to files directory and devices option 3 is used mainly by computers running Microsoft Windows operating systems and option 4 is enables voice and multimedia communication or IP network and the correct options are that it provides access it provides shared access to files directories and devices and it is mainly used by computers running Microsoft Windows operating systems question number 12 is that what is Samba Again, we have to select all the correct options and the options are Option number one is a cross-platform printer sharing solution Option two is open source implementation of SIFS Option three is Linux web server software Option four is cross-platform network file sharing solution Option number five is open source implementation of SMB SMB stands for server message block and the correct options are number one is that it is a cross-platform printer sharing solution second correct option is that it is an open source implementation of SIFS third correct option is that it is a class a cross-platform network file sharing solution and the last correct option is that it is an open source implementation of SMB question number 13 is which of the answers listed below refer to an example of physical security tokens again we have to select all the correct options and the options are acl rfid badge key fob pin and smart card this is a very straightforward question and the correct options are rfid badge so this badge is in the form of a physical uh, physical device or physical thing key fob again it's a physical thing and smart card is also a physical thing so these this is why these are physical tokens while acl or access control list it is applied on devices on network or, uh, or on host network devices such as router switches and firewalls while a pin it is also a non-physical uh, thing that you have to enter inside an operating system or a host question number 14 is that in computer security the term biometric refers to physical characteristics of the human body that can be used for identification and access control purposes so we have two options whether the statement is correct true or false and the correct option is that yes the statement is true biometric is characteristic of human body that can be used for identification and access control such as fingerprint retina uh, scanning etc question number 15 is that examples of biometric devices include we have to select all the correct options and the options are OCR scanner retina scanner ICR scanner fingerprint scanner and palm print scanner and the correct options are retina scanner this is, this is an example of biometric security or biometric identification again fingerprint scanner and palm scanner these all are biometric devices question number 17 is which of the following acronyms refers to a set of rules that specify which user or system processes are granted access to object as well as what operations are allowed to a given allowed on a given object and the options are CRL, NAT, BCP and ACL and the correct option is ACL or access control list so access control list is used for giving permissions on uh, permissions on specific objects inside devices Next question is that in the context of physical security, a magnetometer is a device used for detecting metal objects and we have two options whether the statement is true or false 
and the correct option is true yes magnetometer is a device used for detecting metal objects Question number 18 is a rule based access control system implemented on routers, switches, and firewalls is referred to as in the options are ACL, CSR, DLP, and AUP. And the correct option is ACL or access control is that is applied on router switches and firewalls. Question number 19 is which of the examples listed below meets the requirement of multi-factor authentication and the options are password and biometric scan, username and PIN, smart card and ID badge and voice recognition and fingerprint scan and the correct option is password and biometric scan. So the others authentication method they are also there are two methods but they are of the same category smart card and id badge, id badge they both are physical identification uh, systems while voice recognition and fingerprint they both are biometric authentication system while password and biometric it is a mix of uh, a biometric authentication system while another application based are uh, a security in which uh, human knowledge is involved. So this is a multi true multi-factor authentication system. Question number 20 is that which of the following is an example of a soft authentication token? In the options are key fob, USB token, authentication app and smart card. And the correct option is authentication app. So all these other the key fob, USB token and smart card they are physical objects and so their authentication are physical authentication token while the authentication using an application it is a soft authentication token so that's all for today I hope you have learned something from the today video so let's meet again in the next video thank you all bye bye